Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement here of my playhouse because um, I have a battery that I want to be playing with this one don't go through airport security with this it absolutely looks something like that would get you a lot of unwanted attention so um, <laughs> yeah this is a battery from a Bosch lawnmower a battery driven one a 36 volt one um, this battery belongs to a colleague of mine who um, helped me by uh, taking it apart. So that's the Bosch. Uh, that, is that, that's upside down. There we are. That's the battery. It's a Bosch 36 volt, uh, 2.6 amp hours premium. It isn't working. Uh, nothing shows up. Um, he says that it's it's not charging. So we should have a look at that. I like messing with batteries. So that's kind of why it came to me. Let's see what we got. Here are all the parts for the battery. Um, it's, it's kind of a unit and some of the plastic here is, is also visible when, when you see it. Uh, he took it apart, so I'm gonna have all the trouble trying to get that back together. But yeah, I'm sure we can figure that out. Um, so there is a mechanism here that's there's a button here where you can check how the battery status is but that button is pressing in on a button here on the PCB right there and when you press that button nothing happens there are some surface mounted LEDs here and they are very 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 inactive so let's see do we have any voltage at all trust the old fluke multimeter here Oh, we have minus 40 volt, 40.4 volt. That's just because I have put the leads on wrong. So now we have plus 14. So there's a lot of good voltage on there. <sighs> Maybe is the electronics bad? I am really curious because this is a lithium ion battery, lithium ion technology. And normally there is a balancer on these big cells. Uh, how? I don't understand why there is not a balancer on this. It, it seems kind of bad that they haven't done that. But uh, Bosch usually knows what they're doing. Uh, it is a good company. So how can that be? Let's see if uh, any voltage or... I have the problem that I don't really have anything that runs on 37 36 volts but I have in have a normal light bulb one of the old ones and this is a 60 watt one so my thought uh, was that if we plug that in we might see if uh, if it's able to supply any kind of power so let's do that it doesn't matter it's it's DC anyway so we're gonna plug that in there we're gonna make sure that they don't touch. So that goes out that way. And plug that in there. You can actually see a faint light over here. Now it's on. Now it's off. On, off. So power is coming out of the battery. So everything is good there. This time I also got the charger to play with. So uh, here is the back of the battery and that should go in here. And it touches these connectors here. And it, well, there is a good connection there. Um, I don't know if it could be that the connection inside of here is just bad. Uh, they're really hard to pull apart. So I would I would think that that would not be it. Uh, still nothing shows up. These, uh, this soldering of this contact up here is really poor. I think we might not want to do that. We'll turn on this soldering iron up here and heat up that. One, if you press the button on this, where is it? Oh, it's on the bottom of this one. 
you press that button, it might be very easy to press it too hard. So maybe this switch is bad. And that might be why. Oh. Oh. It actually showed a battery status. Okay, so either the soldering is bad or the or the switch is bad. That's an improvement. So I have done multiple videos where I take electronics apart just to take to use the parts. Uh, and I just happened to find this one. It's very similar. And there's even another one here that is probably even better. So I do believe that I might have a couple of replacements for it. Um, these were from a IMAX charger. These are really old. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have one more here. So let's let's check those. Have the multimeter here and set it over to beep. These tiny switches, they have two legs and then they have the casing. And the casing is of course uh, connected together. So um, I have to hit these pins without hitting the casing and then press the button. And that's where that third hand would be awesome. That's a good one. Okay, two good ones don't want to put in a bad one that's just a waste of time you know oh stop it this is like eating with Chinese chopsticks that's also good okay so I think we have a bad switch in this and that's the entire problem and I think we have a replacement awesome and the soldering iron is hot now I have to go and uh, and make this wet so not to be a wuss or anything but there is a fucking lot of power in this battery and it's fully charged i'm pretty sure of that as this is a 36 volt battery and it turns out as 40 volt i will detach the plus lead here or at least i'm gonna try to so that when i try to get that contact out of there i don't short circuit anything um bad and um yeah make this uh, <laughs> bomb thing here blow up in my face it's not a bomb but it's a it looks like one so we're gonna try and and loosen this loosey goosey by soldering it i hope it comes off it's definitely getting hard Ow. It does not want to go. Oh. Oh, what? I don't think they have sorted this on here. They have some other way that that attached that, that. Fuck. That's irritating. <laughs> Guess we'll have to do it without as much security, so let's see if we can. This should be solder, I sure hope so, and they don't have done anything stupid here. No, nope, that's solder. Okay, there is the tiniest little resistor just next to this. I don't want that to get broken, so we're just gonna try and get rid of this. I managed to clean this up a little bit. Uh, the one that broke, I have been looking at it, and I think this one is the one that I like the most. And it's about the same height as the other one, 
so I'm gonna clean that up I never bothered to clean the lakes of it so it's a disgusting uh, well you can see that so that should be fairly easy just to to get rid of the soldering tin on the lakes and the contacts and clean that away oh except it gets hot really fast so I've been cleaning let's see if it's enough I can fit that through the holes here the holes so let's make sure that it doesn't fall out again as so much as possible without doing anything stupid I'm pretty happy about this like actually being able to use some of the components that I have been desoldering in other videos and using them to fix a well let's just admit it this is a rather expensive battery so but uh, yeah we can just now it actually works when I press the button they will light up and tell me that the battery is full awesome uh, my good colleague had, uh, had tried to take this apart and do some measurements and he has kind of damaged the batteries here. Right here on the battery is the minus and this is the plus. And he did say that it sparkled quite a bit. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape or something to uh, prevent that ever happening. Don't want this to... Uh, if you short circuit a cell like that uh, and there is only a couple of millimeters there that's a bad thing so I'll put a little bit of electric tape in here I hope that will prevent that um, yeah that's my hope anyway so let's hope will I be able to put this together I didn't take it apart so uh, that makes it so much harder to put together um, let's see the connections go that way so that would go in this way That's pretty simple. That's 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 cool. And we have some side pieces here. Um, not sure how they go on. We have some end pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping they can only go on in one way. I have no idea. I think these two pieces, the side pieces, are alike. Although the logo is on one side and the battery capacity is on the other side. I hope it doesn't matter which side they go on. Oh, that one doesn't go in like that. Oh, I just put it in the wrong way. Okay. So, bosh. Hmm. I don't know. They might be upside down. I think they're upside down. Then this one goes over here. And that one goes over there. So there is a plastic piece here, uh, together with the two branded pieces that goes there. I think I'm missing one here. That one, I haven't seen that anywhere. So I probably didn't get that one, unless when I see the video back that it was actually there. Uh, in that case, it has disappeared. So, I guess that's about it. It's also as if something is missing on top here. I don't know what 
that could be. That's a nice battery. Still looks like a bomb. So, but before we put in the screws, <clears throat> might just check if it works. Yep, battery capacity is full. Awesome. Let's try uh, the charger. Okay, I have put power on the charger, so let's pop in the battery and see if it starts charging. It looks charging-ish. Same Ryobi thing here. I think it's charging, so that might just be good. There we go, 10 minutes later, it's fully charged. Awesome. So I do believe that I fixed this battery. Uh, let's just check now that um, before I start bragging too much. Yeah, it uh, shows the battery capacity now. And my best estimate is that this works. Unfortunately, I do not have a tool that I can test it in, but now it shows the battery capacity and uh, it charges. So I will think this is okay. I'm very confused that this um, battery does not have a balancer in there. I think that's kind of weird if anyone uh, in the comments has any knowledge on this uh, please do let me know I am I was sure that they needed that I'm sure my colleague is gonna be very happy to get this back and um, I just Google them on Amazon and it's not as if they are that expensive they are I found one a little bit higher capacity than this one this is 2.6 amp hours I found one that was 3 amp hours and that was $89 um, of course, that's a lot of money, but compared to what I pay for for Ryobi batteries, like this battery here was also just about $80. And that's only half the voltage and two and a half amp. So it's actually more or less half the battery, but that's just because the batteries are so expensive here in Denmark. This one available in the US, even better than this one for $89. I fixed something. I really enjoy fixing stuff. Um, giving new life to broken stuff, uh, especially stuff that is still usable. Uh, do not enjoy fixing uh, old stuff as much, but this is kind of newer stuff and still in use. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.